Welcome to our farm. We're angsty, we're emo, our electricity just got shut off. But in this video today, we're going to be doing a quick walkthrough of an average morning on the farm. How we take care of our animals, how we feed our animals, how we start our day. So first things first, we walk our dogs. We have Damien, Luna, and Raven. And after we get done walking our dogs, we refill their water, feed them breakfast, and move out to the other animals. So Damien here, he's our youngest. He's a year old and he's a German Shepherd. Then we have Luna, who is our oldest dog. She's going on seven years old and she is a Pitsky. So most of the time we walk our dogs separately simply because they are so focused on playing together outside that sometimes they will harass each other out of going to the bathroom. So that's why we walk them separately. So lastly, we have Raven. She's a year and a half. Uh, we picked her up as a stray who was, quite frankly, a little emaciated. And, you know, she was out in a storm, uh, couldn't find the owners whatsoever. So we have her. We believe she is a Border Collie German Shepherd mix, but we haven't confirmed that yet. So after we walk the dogs and feed them and everything, we move out to the day pen where we... Uh, primarily house our pot belly pigs uh, but we do let our rabbits run around in the day pen to get some exercise and some sunshine so uh, we feed our pigs a hundred percent vegetarian diet uh, so the pigs and the rabbits often share their meals it's really great to watch them eat so after that we give some alfalfa hay to our two doe goats um they don't get too much right now because uh, it's a new feed we just put them on alfalfa after feeding them timothy hay so they don't get too much while they're still adjusting we don't want them to bloat um but we also give some hay to the pigs and the rabbits as well our two buck goats, however, don't get any of the alfalfa. Uh, to those of you who don't know, alfalfa can actually cause uri urinary calculi, which is kind of a fancy word for bladder stones. So they don't get any of this hay. The reason we're not showing the buck goats feeding for the morning is simply because they are pasture raised, so they are free range and live primarily off of brush. So after we make sure those animals are all taken care of, we move to the chicks. And uh, here I am just adding some fresh bedding because the old bedding kind of got a little nasty. We refill the chicks water and add some new food. And uh, these pullets are actually almost ready to go outside. They're getting kind of big and they're getting some nice feathers on them so they'll be able to stay warm. Uh, they do not have a heat lamp on them at the moment because our electricity actually got shut off a couple days ago. But thankfully, it's about 85 degrees outside, which means inside our house it's about, let's say, 75 to 80. So it's working out. So then we just go and check on our cat royalties, little adorable Turkish Angora mix kittens. Uh, she had these kittens about four days ago, so they are absolutely precious. And she chose to have them in our little cupboard. So we go and check on her, we refill her water, and we also take this time to feed the rest of the cats, both indoor and outdoor. So then we move outside and kind of clean up the day pen since a lot of animals share this run as uh, like a little exercise pen. It gets dirty pretty quickly. So we just come through here and rake up all the uneaten hay and uh, poop and whatnot and make it nice and clean. So we actually have all these rocks around the inside perimeter of the fence just to ensure that the little sneaky troublesome rabbits don't uproot the fence and crawl under it um we've had that issue before and it is very hard to catch them once they're running on all two acres of our property <laughs> so these stones are not quite aesthetically pleasing but they work to keep the rabbits from digging out 
So today was actually the first day we let the baby goats run around in the day pen. Uh, they're three days old now, and their umbilical cords are, you know, completely dried up and crusty. Uh, so we did not let them out in the day pen until their umbilical cords were completely scabbed over, I guess you would call it, uh, just because we don't want any bacteria getting in there or anything. Uh, we let them run around the day pen for a few hours. We let their mother... Uh, grays and such and it's just a great time to also socialize the babies and bond with them and let them explore now we did not build this day pen uh, or the barn or any other amenity on our current property uh, otherwise I think I personally would have built it a little differently uh, we're actually renting this property uh, hopefully we'll be moving in a couple months now. Um, when we do move, I, uh, I think, you know, this experience with our current rental has taught me that next time I will have a little bit of a higher standard. I think we were mostly just desperate to find a rental that had the land needed for our animals, which is difficult to find, you know, most people will sell their properties instead of renting them out if they are, you know, farm equipped. But hopefully next time we'll find something a little better and a little more um, manageable and doable in terms of the quality of the pens and runs and pastures and whatnot. I do hope we move soon though because I have so many seeds saved up for planting this spring and I don't exactly want to start planting if we're just going to move and we're going to have to abandon all those plants. So hopefully soon. So we just finished building this uh, second stall. Uh, Princess, our youngest doe, is expecting her two kids. Uh, she just started showing signs of labor her ligaments dropped she was pawing and nesting at the ground so we went ahead and moved her into her new stall and we are waiting currently for her baby to arrive so when they do that video video will be up but for right now it's just a waiting game